What's going on YouTube? Herb Wars here with some Destiny video. Uh, today I want to go over the first bounty available for the new House of Wolves expansion is hunting down and killing Drevis. Um, which is actually he's actually located in the Forgotten Shore. Um, Drevis is a captain that needs to be taken out for the Queen. Um, what's going to happen is a group of enemies wants something at the bottom says I think it says wolves are praying or wolves are preaching. So I forget exactly the words. Um, you're going to see a group of enemies spawn. A lot like Dark Below with the hive situation, but now it's with the fallen. Now, the first group and second wave, and I think he's thinking of the third wave, have these Scorch Captains, which they basically carry these Scorch Rockets that you're going to be able to use once you kill them. That's a really neat gun. Uh, I think each one has ten a 10 count and uh, it actually helps out a lot. Now you're going to notice that this actual boss, Drevis, his shield is freaking crazy hard. So these Scorch Rockets, along with if your friend like mine has a Galhorn, is actually going to be able to help you take the, his shield off. Um, I had a hard time taking the shield off the first time. I don't know why, but uh, he could he was a little challenging. Now. You're going to see, it, like I said, a wave of enemy after wave of enemy after wave of enemy. And it's actually, what I did was I tried to conserve the Scorch Rocket to help out with Drevis. And uh, you'll see in a minute here, after I think it's this wave, he finally appears. Um, it, like I said, if you or anybody you know has a Galhorn, um, I, I had the Hunger of Crota. That seemed to help out a lot. You're going to want to use that to get his shield off because his shield is insane. Um, this is the location that I actually found him underneath this big building at the Forgotten Shore. The two different times that I actually fought him. And you're going to see, I drive away because I think he's at the other spot. But then Carmen, who's my best friend, informs me that he's right here. Now, as you, you'll, you will see, his shield come off fairly easy because Carmen actually uses his Galhorn. A rocket launcher to this day I still have yet to have. And there's, look, you'll, you'll see the wolf pack. Yep, there it is. He hit him with Galvan a couple times, took off his shield. I come in with the Hunger of Crota. Um, at this point, the Galhorn did pretty much all of this work. And the bounty is completed. And then what happens after you defeat the captain? is a chest appears that you have to find within the location and it actually will have be a chest with a glowing light coming off the top to help i guess find where it is and you'll get several loot out of it but you also have a chance of getting an ether cave which is which is coming into play in the future of the game so once you find it and you'll see it takes i think i don't get this chest till the actual very end um Carmen finally found it for me. Uh, it could contain one of those keys. It also is going to carry some engrams that cannot be decrypted, so don't think that your game's broken. It's just doing that because these engrams are part of the new um, House of the Wolves, and they don't want to mix that with the Cryptarch yet. You will see me just barely make this chest. I mean, I think it's within a second. Um, my friend Carmen found it and then let me know about it. And you will see me just barely get there in the nick of time. I didn't get anything crazy good out of it, just a couple engrams. And I think a special ammo synthesis. Yep, um, some spin metal. You gotta love spin metal. Anyway, this is one of many videos of the, the locations of these bounties for the Queen. Until next time, Herbor is out. May the Force 